have you watched both videos included below my video frame? Have you finished watching them? And did you enjoy them? Did you feel emotionally drawn into the stories? I say story when obviously both videos are documents of real life, not fictional pre-written stories a screenwriter has invented. Yet they tell complete stories with a hook, a hold and a payoff, a beginning, a middle and an end. First of all, both videos might seem very different and not connected at all. But let's have a look, closer look. The hook, the emotional trigger in both movies might be the cute protagonist, for example, the main character of the videos, the dog or the little boy. The hold then, the, the element that makes us stick and go on watching, is directly tied to this character and us, the viewers, realizing that this character has a goal and is willing to reach it against all odds. The boy and the dog equally struggle against outer forces like the water and the huge distance to the goal, as well as against inner forces like the tendency to give up when things get too exhausting that everybody of us knows. Both characters seem to fail at one point, but in the end they make it. The boy reaches the goal and the dog is frisbee. Here we can see a true happy ending, a real payoff for the viewer that no screenwriter might have created better. In the case of Josh Tornbow, sign him up. This payoff is even deepened by the audience's cheers and the little boy's obvious and adult-like joy when he raises his arms in, yeah, in total happiness. The sign him up chants that follow only underline this payoff's impact and its effect can be compared to moments of celebration after successful adventures in feature films. Like they are for instance typically included in the last act of the Star Wars movies from, by George Lucas. When in the end of the whole movie a big parade celebrates the hero's successful journey. But how can a writer achieve such emotional impact with his or her story? What does this even mean, creating an emotional impact or creating immersive stories? I think often people talk about um, immersion, about becoming immersed um, in a story. And for me, that means um, being completely in the moment. So it's something that often like, uh, if you go to any meditation classes, people say, I want you to you know, be centered, I want you to be completely in the moment, and that's to the exclusion of all else. And I think good stories have the ability to do that, that when we read or we sit back and watch or whatever, we, the storytelling is such that they take us on an emotional journey and they appeal both to this kind of, uh, this mental um, ability we have to connect these dots, but also to our heart, to, uh, to us wanting to see like a satisfactory outcome. So I think storytelling has evolved to the point where often storytellers know, okay, I need to set up a character, I need to get some empathy going so that, you know, I'm sort of drawn in that way. And then they go through some challenges and then there's a, hopefully there's a kind of nice resolution at the end. There are many books on storytelling, writing and screenwriting dealing with the question of how to create an emotional impact with stories. What all these works have in common though is stating the audience's or reader's need of identifying with the characters, especially the protagonists, the main characters of the story, by giving them a goal, an aim, something they want to achieve. And on the other side of this desire or goal, there is a conflict, a barrier that they have to overcome or maybe be defeated by. If you look at both videos closely, you will see kind of like the structure of the arc plot that I introduced before. The hero who fights for his object of desire, be it a frisbee or the soccer ball in the goal or be it saving his or her girlfriend. Doesn't matter. If the dog had not caught uh, the frisbee but fallen into the water in the last second before reaching out far enough and maybe if he had even drowned, there would still have been an emotional payoff. 
just of another kind, a tragic ending instead of a happy one.